Have you ever been kept awake at night by the thought of cities buried underwater or giant jars without a clear purpose? What about an indecipherable manuscript that has baffled experts for centuries? Dive with me into a world of wonder as we uncover the top 10 unsolved mysteries from the ancient world that will make you question what we really know about our past. Let's go on a journey, one filled with tales of real-life Atlantis, coded books, and stone monuments that have withstood the test of time. Ready to be mystified? Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest updates. Let's get started with number one, Farnes Herakian. An Egyptian port city on the Mediterranean Sea, Farnes Herakian served as a major trading hub prior to the founding of nearby Alexandria around 331 BC. Mythical hero Heracles and Helen of Troy both supposedly spent time there around the 2nd century BC. However, the city center collapsed due to soil liquefaction, possibly triggered by earthquakes, tsunamis, or floods. Eventually, all of Farnes Heraclean sank underwater, where it remained lost to time until being rediscovered in the early 2000s by marine archaeologists. Since then, large statues, animal sarcophagi, temple ruins, pottery shards, jewelry, coins, and even 2,400-year-old fruit baskets have been pulled from the waves, thus shining new light on this real-life Atlantis. Number 2. Plain of Jars Thousands of lichen-covered stone jars from the Iron Age, some standing close to 10 feet tall and weighing several tons, dot the mountainous landscape of northern Laos. Carved largely from sandstone and found in groups ranging from just 1 to 400, legend holds that giants used them as wine glasses. Many archaeologists, on the other hand, believe they served as funerary urns, though much remains unknown about their purpose, about how they were moved into place, and about the civilization that produced them. Recent research dates at least some of the stone jars to as early as 1240 BC, which would make them far older than the human remains buried nearby. Complicating matters is that many of the jars stand in fields of unexploded munitions, the vestige of a massive US bombing campaign during the Vietnam War, and therefore cannot be safely studied. Number 3. Guanabara Bay Acting on a tip from locals, controversial shipwreck explorer Robert Marx claimed in 1982 to have discovered a number of twin-handled Roman vases, known as amphoras, in Brazil's Guanabara Bay. According to Marx, the barnacle-covered amphoras provided proof that the Romans were the first Europeans in Brazil, having predated the Portuguese by over 1,000 years. However, he was never able to fully explore the site, as the Brazilian government banned him from the country for alleged looting and halted underwater exploration altogether. Marx responded by accusing Brazil's navy of dumping sediment on the amphoras so as not to have to rewrite history. To this day, a Roman presence on Brazil's coast remains highly unproven. Number 4. Nazca Lines Roughly 2,000 years ago, a pre-Inca civilization etched a series of enormous drawings into the dry coastal plain of Peru. Known as the Nazca Lines, these geoglyphs remained largely unknown until aircraft began flying over the area in the 1930s. To date, well over 1,000 designs have been located. Most are straight lines stretching up to 30 miles or geometric shapes from traxoids to spirals, while others depict animals and plants, including a spider, a hummingbird, a monkey, a whale, a two-headed snake, a dog, and a humanoid figure nicknamed the astronaut. As recently as 2022, 168 new geoglyphs were discovered, yet researchers still don't understand their purpose. One prominent hypothesis associates them with water rituals, though other guesses are bound as well. Number 5. Paracas Candelabra The Paracas Candelabra is estimated to be approximately 595 to 800 feet tall and can be seen from as far as 12 miles out at sea. The geoglyph was created by cutting two feet deep into the hardened soil, with rocks placed around the figure. While scientists cannot be certain regarding the age of the Paracas Candelabra, pottery found in the area was radiocarbon dated to 200 BC. It is believed that the pottery belonged to the Paracas civilization, but has never been confirmed whether they were responsible for creating the geoglyph. The shape of the geoglyph is mysterious and somewhat difficult to describe. Some have likened it to a cactus plant, while others believe it looks more like a three-branched candlestick, hence the name candelabra. It begins with a single stem at the bottom, which then splits into three smaller branches and each of those separate out again. 
Some believe the Paracas candelabra is a representation of a hallucinogenic plant called chimson weed. Others have suggested that the geoglyph represents a lightning rod of the god Viracocha, who was the great creator god in the pre-Inca and Inca mythology in the Andes region of South America. Number 6. Sacsayhuaman Elsewhere in Peru, just outside Cusco, stands the remains of the Sacsayhuaman fortress, which was painstakingly constructed by the Incas in the 1400s. Much like at Machu Picchu, Inca laborers somehow moved enormous rocks into place some of which weighed 125 tons or more, before masons cut them, using only bronze and stone tools, and fitted them together without mortar. Though Spanish colonizers dismantled much of the site for building materials, Sacsayhuaman has remained structurally sound enough to withstand large earthquakes and other ravages of time. Number 7. Cleopatra's Tomb For an ancient ruler, much is known about Cleopatra Vlaiai, the so-called last queen of Egypt, who famously consorted with both Julius Caesar and Mark Antony and later committed suicide in 30 BC, following Antony's and her defeat at the Battle of Actium. Yet the location of Antony's and her tomb, the couple were purportedly buried together, remains a complete mystery. Some researchers believe it resided in Alexandria, a capital city and the one-time cultural center of the Mediterranean world, only to be lost when a tsunami swept through in 365 AD. Others suspect elsewhere in the Nile Delta, possibly in a temple dedicated to Isis and Osiris, the gods with which Cleopatra and Antony respectively associated themselves. In addition to Cleopatra's, other legendary lost burial sites include those of Alexander the Great and Genghis Khan. Number 8. Voynich Manuscript In 1912, rare book dealer Wilfred Voynich acquired a medieval manuscript that he claimed had been housed in an ancient castle in southern Europe. Written in an extinct language or code, no one could recognize and filled with strange illustrations of fictitious plants and naked women. It has befuddled scholars ever since, and could be Alan Turing and the FBI, both of whom tried and failed to crack the case. Over the years, several people have professed to decipher it, but each time have been greeted with a massive chorus of doubts. Some suspect the whole thing is an elaborate hoax. Now housed at Yale University, the Voynich manuscript is available to the public for anyone interested in trying to solve the puzzle once and for all. Number 9. Yomaguni Monument Off the coast of Japan's Yomaguni Island lies an underwater rock structure, at least 165 feet long and 65 feet wide, that resembles a man-made step pyramid. Discovered in the 1980s and now known as the Yonaguni Monument, researcher Masaki Kimura from the University of the Ryukyus believes that the structure is a group of monoliths built by humans. According to Kimura, it dates back 10,000 years and was once part of the lost continent of Mu. Mu was a mythical continent in the Pacific, whose story parallels the myths of Atlantis and Numeria, supposedly a great cataclysm such as an earthquake or hurricane, submerged this land beneath the sea. Its survivors scattered across the earth, founding civilizations, including those of the ancient Egyptians and Maya. Second, he suggests that the structure possesses possible statues that resemble animals, as well as rock carvings and holes where posts might have been. Third, he points out the structure's straight lines, sharp corners, supposed steps, avenues, canals, and other features. Number 10. Stonehenge Construction of Stonehenge, one of the world's most iconic prehistoric landmarks, began some 5,000 years ago before England even entered the Bronze Age. While studied for centuries, most researchers agree it functioned as a burial site, and it's now known where the massive stones came from. Yet Stonehenge's other secrets remain stubbornly elusive, involving its possible religious, ceremonial, astronomical, and therapeutic significance. Have you enjoyed this video? Which mystery is looking interesting to you? Let us know in comment section. If you found this video useful, you can thumbs up and share it with your family and friends and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. Take care until next time. Goodbye.